Hello and welcome to Flower Juice. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little bit of a kind of seasonal arrangement that's a little bit crafty. So if you enjoy doing things with your hands then you're going to love this. So what we've got here is we've got a piece of wood that's been used as a base and we've got a couple of rings that have been covered in wool. Now there's lots of different materials you can use at the moment, there's lots of different wools you can get, but what we've used as a base is these metal rings that are basically the type of thing you use at Christmas. So you would use these maybe to make a holly wreath, but you can use them for different things as well. So this is the core element within each ring. Essentially they've had stem added on, bound with material, and then wedged into the actual wood. So you could use any type of wood and any type of wood. But this gives us some enclosed space, which makes an interesting arrangement straight away. So what I'm gonna do is, and at the back you can actually see that I haven't even bothered to, to glue this, I've just used a couple of pins. But I've got a little bit of volume there that I can use other pins to do things. So I'm not wanting to use lots of material in this, I just want to use some select material and first material I've got is this beautiful crocosmia and the crocosmia is really really just gone to seed so we've got the berries of the crocosmia and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin that in now it won't really matter if you see things from the back but what I need to do is obviously you need to put a water source with these and we're going to use a test tube and the test tube we can just slide on down the base. So these pins I've got in a colour that matches. So just to show you that, what we've done is we've used a couple of pins just to hold the arrangement onto the rings um, and then obviously they're in water as well. Now when we're finished we can top this up and just keep an eye on it. And this is how we're going to create our arrangement. So. I've got a couple of elements that I want to use, or a couple of pieces of the Crocosmia are really going to be the main thing. So we're going to put these on first. Now straight away with having these, we're getting quite a, quite a strong effect. But really very simple. So we've still got our enclosed space and we've got that, uh, that contrast between the line and the, the circular shapes. And now we can really just have a look and see what else we want to add. So I have these beautiful rosehead berries and I thought these would be perfect because of the season. Now I can add that just in to the actual tube that we have. And the other main flower I wanted to use here were these beautiful chrysanthemum blooms. Now, they've got quite a lot of leaf on them, so we're going to just take that off and really just strip it down so that really what we're looking at is the flower. But this arrangement, it's up to you how you want to do it. So if you like the leaves and you want to keep the leaves, you can. But personally, I think you get a cleaner look um, if you if you take them off. I think then that way you really see, see the flower better. Alright, let's just... And we've got another one. So we've got our first bloom. And then what we can do is we could even put this one to the back. You can kind of measure it before you actually put it in the tube. And by putting it further back here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of uh, depth to our arrangement. So as you can see at the back, I've just been pinning these in. But it's not the back that we're interested in, it's really just the front. I'm just going to add a little bit of skimmy 
The skimmier I like because it's got a bit of texture. And I think just a little bit more berry. Now with the tubes, you're wanting to keep a nice clean stem and you're wanting to um, wanting to make sure that everything looks tidy because we're really seeing every element here. And there we go. It's as simple as that. So simple design with limited content. Uh, we're not using Oasis, so we're really just tubing the material. And if you enjoy something crafty, then this is a great project to do. And you'll be able to reuse these again and again. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with all our videos.